David Jay here at Fire Station 1 in Billings where bicycle riders with the U.S. Honor Flag made a stop. They were in Harleton on Friday, came here to Billings on Saturday, and left Sunday for Gary Owen. They camped out here in the parking lot, and while they were here, they had a ceremony inside the fire station. Firefighter Alex King, who also serves in the Montana Army National Guard, has the honor of saluting, removing, and holding the honor flag. Just kind of hoping that my service measures up to those that have paid more of a sacrifice and trying to do everything right in memory of them um, so that their sacrifices aren't in vain or aren't uh, trivialized. The U.S. honor flag is an American flag that flew during recovery efforts at Ground Zero, was inspired by a widow of a Port Authority officer who was, in her words, vaporized in that devastation. And uh, she wanted um, that spirit of patriotism like we had on September 12th to continue. And it turns out that firefighter Cameron Abel has handled the flag before. We sent two representatives to Deputy Mason Moore's funeral in Townsend, so I was honored to be the firefighter that brought the flag out to accompany the casket back to the uh, interment site. Every single time it's touched, we use brand new custom gloves. It's not very often that I encounter the gloves on a second time. It's really an honor to be able to see those again. So um, thanks so much. That obviously means a lot to you. Chris's wife, Cindy, along with Philip Devereaux, and his wife, Tanya, are taking the flag across the country. Cindy and Philip are part of the BC to DC bike tour. British Columbia to District of Columbia. But because the border's closed, we started right in Blaine, Washington. It's truly an honor for us to have this opportunity to do that, not just with the flag, but to be out here and riding because those heroes that are no longer here, um, if they had a chance to come back and ride with us, uh, they would in a heartbeat. They're my brothers and sisters. Doesn't matter where I am. They're, they're there for me if I need them and I'm there for them if they need me. In Billings, David J, MTN News.